Hey, what's going on guys? I've got a 2009 Chrysler 300. I'm gonna use this car to show you the one fuse for the operation of the horn. So we're gonna get into the trunk. And right by the battery is where you'll find the cover for the fuse box. You remove it by pushing in on this tab here and it will hinge up. It's gonna be fuse 30, which is this 10 amp fuse that I've marked right here. So pull it out, this is what a good fuse looks like. And what's important about how Chrysler wired this, that fuse does not provide power to the horn itself. That fuse instead provides power to the computer that reads a signal from the horn switch. That computer communicates the signal to another computer called your integrated power module, which is right here. And built into this module is circuitry that will send power to the horns. So there's no additional relay or fuses in the circuit. It's all built into this module here. So yeah, I hope this information was helpful for you. Please let me know if you have any questions or more importantly, any advice for troubleshooting the horn on your Chrysler.